Brookhaven, we tried to make friends, but we're not just gonna ask people if they wanna be friends. We're gonna try and get them to the lake house. If somebody gets to the lake house, then they're officially my friend. Make sure to watch to the end of the video and subscribe to my channel for more day in the life in Brookhaven adventures with me, your boy, Micro G. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Brookhaven. You know, I have some really, really good friends in my life. I have Chad, I have some other friends. Nibbles, Nibbles is my friend too. But you know, I don't really have any Brookhaven friends. So I figured today I would try and go grab some Brookhaven friends. But I don't wanna just walk up to some guy randomly shooting guns in the streets and just say, hey, will you be my friend? Please, please don't reject me. Don't you reject me, you bacon hair. Don't you run away from me. Oh, you're, you're not. Are, are you gonna say yes? Are you gonna answer? You're just gonna leave me in the dark. You're just gonna, you gonna say anything? Say anything at all? I'm using you as an example of somebody who would just become my friend instantly. Uh, you know what? I'm stealing your car. Let's go. I guess technically he's forced to be my friend because I stole his car. So if he wants his car, he has to hang out with me. Well, he was a bad example anyway. I was trying to say that if I ask people to be my friend and they say yes, that's not enough. That's not enough to be my friend. I want to actually get to know some strangers in Brookhaven before we actually become friends. And I'm not saying this guy is completely off the list. You know, the, he might be able to be a decent friend, but we just have to try and get to know him a little better. Like, let's say, uh, hey, let's go do something. I'm a little worried that this person's a noob because they're a bacon hair, so we'll have to just see. Oh, I like your sports car. See, friends compliment each other. That's what friends do. Let's go to the lake. Please uh, stop just shooting. Who? What are you even shooting? You're shooting at the hospital? That's horrible. Okay, you know what? Maybe this person doesn't need to be my friend. Let's try, uh, let's try and see if this person wants to be my friend. Let me see. Hey, hey, <laughs> get back here, stop it. Let's see if he talks to me. Are you gonna, are you gonna speak to me? Why does nobody wanna be my friend? Hey, hey there. My name is Ice Cream. How weird is that? <laughs> Oh my goodness, he actually said hi. Okay, um, 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 I didn't prepare for this. I, I, I didn't prepare for this. Wanna go to the lake? Ha, 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 you wanna, you wanna go, you wanna go to the lake with me? I need a friend, please, please say yes. Hop in my golf cart. I wanted him to hop in my golf cart, but he literally just took his ice cream truck and ran. Okay, fine, I'll just buy some ice cream from him. He's not gonna be my friend. We're just, that we have a business relationship. I eat the ice cream, he makes the ice cream. Okay, actually, thank you. Thank you, I, I, I appreciate it. I actually really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the ice cream, it's it's delicious. Maybe I'll have better luck in the neighborhood for people who are actually working on their house. Hi, hello, would you like to be my friend? I'm not gonna ask you. If, honestly, whoever says yes to going to the lake with me uh, is instantly my best friend. So that's how we're gonna make a friend and that's how we're gonna judge it. Where are you going, girl? Come back. She's probably more interested in this guy because he's got like a big house and stuff. Oh yeah? Well, check this out. Boom, look at it. Where did, where'd she go? Where, where are you? Hey, we want to come check out my house instead. It's so cool. I can also put it down by the lake if you want to check it out down by the lake. I don't know. It's totally up to you. Where, where'd you go? You keep disappearing. Oh, I promise that wasn't me. I think she left a bomb upstairs. Yeah, I honestly, I don't trust this girl. I, let's go make a new friend. And, oh no, I'm trapped. Oh no, I'm locked in the house. No, this is horrible. Hello, 911. I'm trapped inside of a house. She's got a shotgun. She already exploded the upstairs. I I don't know what to do. Yeah, she, she's trying to tase me now. I think she might be a police officer. Oh no, this... Oh, she took the police officer's taser. I didn't even know I was in a police officer's house. Police officer, can you let me out so that I can go home? I'm scared. Oh, it's the police officer that has the bomb. Oh no. Well, that was crazy. All right, back to the friend hunt. It is nighttime now. I wonder if the type of people that we're trying to befriend are gonna be a little bit sketchier than the people during the day. I don't know, we might, we'll find out here. What type of people hang around the town this time of night? Oh, looks like a birthday party is going on upstairs. A birthday party is a perfect place to find friends, I think. Hi, oh, uh, do y'all wanna go to the lake with me? <laughs> maybe, maybe, uh, <laughs> he just said no. It's only my feelings are hurting, so it's not like it's anything important. Oh, he said, JK, yes I do. Yay, let's go. <laughs> let's go to the lake, come on. I'll drive, I'll, I'll even drive to the lake. Oh, wait, are we actually gonna go or are they just kidding? Don't play with my feelings like this, okay? I have, I have really, I'm really sensitive. I'm sensitive. She said, no, we are celebrating, silly. What are you celebrating? My birthday now. Oh, it's his birthday. Happy birthday. 
birthday. Here is your flowers. Oh, she also got him flowers. That's super nice. The cameraman is just kind of sitting in the room. He's like, you know, this uh, camera work, it's really hard work. Gotta take a little bit of a break every now and then. They said, Dave is so lonely. Dave, don't be sad. No, Dave, if, if you want to not be lonely, I would love to go find a friend and take them to the lake. All right, have a good birthday party. I'm gonna go... Uh, uh, I'm gonna go not be where you are, okay? I don't have any interest in going to the lake anymore. Just keep doing... Oh, hey, it's my first buddy! Hey, do y'all wanna go to the lake? Any, any chance you wanna go to the lake? Hi. Remember me? I, I You sold me this ice cream earlier. I still got it. Somehow it's, it hasn't melted in my pocket. You'd think it would have melted by now, but it hasn't. Maybe if I present myself in a limo, people will actually want to be my friends. Because they're like, oh my gosh, this guy is so high class. You should totally go to the lake with him. Oh, hello there. Hello. Oh, did he get in the car? Hey, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to drive him to the lake. And that counts, right? It might be a forced friendship, but it's a friendship nonetheless. Do you want to go to the lake? Any, any chance you're interested in, in going to the lake? They said, yeah. <gasps> okay. Oh, this is it. This is it. I don't even know where the lake is. I think it's this way. I cannot mess up this chance. This is my one opportunity for friendship. We're not going to let this go to waste. Oh, this person's following me too. What if we have two friends at the lake? That's going to be amazing. Oh my goodness. We're here with somebody. Let me just park the limo right here. Let's get out. And let's go, let's go to the lake. <gasps> we actually have a friend at the lake. Caden, stop being fake. How is Caden being fake? Wait, is this Caden? They said, yeah. What? What, you're just gonna look? Where, where are you going, Caden? Caden, I didn't, you didn't even tell me what your name is. I just learned from, no. Caden, Caden, no. Caden, please come back. Come back, Caden. <laughs> That's okay, plenty other fish in the sea, am I right? <laughs> If I'm being completely honest with you, I'm kind of over friendship. Yeah, the people of this town, they're just too shallow for me. You know, maybe I'll find a good friend one day, but for now, I'm just gonna check out this brand new house. I mean, look at this thing. How epic is this? We got a brand new house in Brookhaven that looks super cool, super modern. Got myself a Dyson, cause why not? Is my limo even gonna fit inside of this garage? Let's test it. I mean, I'm pretty sure we can make it work. Let's see. As long as we can shut the garage door after we park the limo. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of room. To totally fine. Where is the bedroom in this house? Wait, here's the bathroom. Okay, that makes sense. Is this the... Oh, uh, I can draw. What can I draw? Now is when I release my inner artist within. I am going to draw the most beautiful butterfly you have ever seen. His name is Jimmy. Jimmy the butterfly. Oh, up here is the bathroom. We got some nice clothes. We got a nice bed for sleeping. And we also got, a, oh, another guest bedroom. So if you're if you're sleeping and someone's in the guest bedroom, be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> what, what are you dreaming about over there? Dreaming about anything cool? Just don't sleepwalk in the middle of the night because uh, that might be a little dangerous. All right, everyone. Well, I guess today was it's somewhat of a failure. We didn't really make any friends. I mean, technically we got Kate into the lake, so I guess you consider that a friend, even though we lost that friend relatively quickly. But at the end of the day, all that matters is this really cool pink Lamborghini that I'm gonna steal, so. It's pretty great. Thank you guys so much for watching A Day in the Life of Brookhaven. I, I hope you guys stay tuned for more of the days in my life when we do some cool adventures. Make sure to stick around and I'll talk to you then.